Hello everybody, Shelly here. Today I'm dipping back into one of my favorite budget-friendly brands, Perfusion Cosmetics. Today I have the Starlet a palette. Let's see if I can open it up so you're not blinded here. Looks like this. It's a ginormous palette with a lot of options and I'm going to do three looks today but I feel like I could do so much more. I feel like I could do like seven but then I think my eyes would get irritated from the taking off and the putting back on. If you want me to do more looks with this one palette, just leave me a comment down below. Otherwise, we're going to see if a lady of a certain age who's not a makeup artist can come up with at least three looks that she'd leave the house in if she wasn't on self-isolation and choosing to stay home most of the time anyway. But what other time to play? We like to ask ourselves, can we get at least three looks out of one palette? Usually like to find something that we could do for work. Could we do something for a fun daytime, maybe a little bit more colorful, maybe a sultry date night look? I have kind of thrown that out the window and I'm just playing with makeup. And I hope you like to, too. So if this is interest to you at all, please stick around. I'll be back in just a moment. Look number one done. This is the Profusion Cosmetics Starlet Palette. There's a little bit of a glare on this because actually, you know what, I'm just gonna open it up. There we go. Yeah, that gets a glare too. Anyway, looks like this. I gotta tell you, not everybody loves the big palettes. Not everybody loves all of the options. They may want something small and portable and easy to use and just, just give me five colors, 10 at most. I don't want anything crazy. But on the days that you want to get a little creative, these big palettes from Perf Profusion are really, really fantastic. I have several of these, probably more than I should. I think I originally saw them because Kelly Stack was posting about one that she picked up at like Walmart and it was super affordable. And she's like, yeah, this is my go-to when I'm not filming. This is what I wear. And I was like, okay. So I bought one. I bought more and I bought more and I love this. You've got some warm neutrals up here. If you like soft, subtle, by all means, just use this. You know, depot them from here and put them in a little Z palette and, and away you go. The warmer colors, th these are good. I mean, like you have enough work wear, but if you like the greens, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get my fingers in it. I did the rosy colors and I didn't use the glitter to cover up a mistake or cover up patchy. I did the glitter because I was like, hey, I want to go a little crazy today. Why wouldn't you want to go sometimes a little bit out of your comfort zone? The purple, I'm in love with this. I love this row. And this one for your dark smoky look. That's another thing about these palettes. They work really well. I mean, you can bounce around, but you can use one single row and give you an entire look. And I'm not that creative to venture too far off of that. There's a lot of ways to read these palettes. They don't make it challenging. It's not like you have to jump around and go, I don't know where my eyes are going. 
they spell it out pretty well. So I love this. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna come back with look number two. I think this gives you like a daytime friendly, you know, lighter with the browns, not so much like bam, bold colors. But I thought this kind of like acid yellow greenish color would be pretty. I feel like it kind of creased a little bit. I had to kind of go over it. I was originally doing like a halo thing and then as I had to go back over it with that sort of acid color. It was okay. I think it's a fun, fresh, vibrant, pretty, crazy color, but I feel like I'm a little like washed out. And I gotta be honest, this color right here, it's a shimmer and it's a beautiful bronzy color. It's called Whiskey. And I wish I would have put that on my fingers. I kind of wish I would have just done all over the lid with that. I think these, maybe even these three colors right here in one look, super simple, fast, easy. I think that would have been a little bit better. I don't hate this. What I am hating is the glitter from my first look. Did, did anybody gasp when I put that glitter on my first look? Because I did when I went to go take it off. I'm still dealing with it. I've got like glitter in my eyebrows. So I'm gonna probably have to do a little bit more work to get it off my face because we have some errands we gotta run crazy in quarantine, but we've set, we have some curbside pickup stuff we've got to do. So I'm going to try to get off as much glitter as I can, kind of clean this up, and I'm going to come back with one more look. Be right back. Look at number three. And 
I love it. This eyeshadow palette I've been sitting on for a while thinking, oh, I should film with it. And it seemed like there was other things I wanted to do and I haven't been using it because I wanted to film with it first. I should have just done it. I should have just done it because I could have been using it this whole time. I know I've said before, I've got a few of like my, my go-to palettes that I really like and this is destined to be one of those. You use it because it's exactly what you need. If you're okay with a big palette, oh my gosh. Can a lady of a certain age who's not a makeup artist, can she come up with three looks that it's one palette, looks that she'd leave the house in, looks that any lay person could pick up, kind of figure out what to do. Could you get at least three looks out of one palette? Is it worth it? Is it worth your money? If you could only get one look because the formula is crap or because my leg is asleep. <laughs> Not because your leg is asleep, but my leg is asleep. Anyway, if you can only come up with one look in a palette, is it worth your money? Maybe if it's like the one palette you use or the one you kind of go to when you need something, just a little something, something. This palette, this will stay on my vanity. I will use this. This goes into my top. I'm going to call it my top 10 right now because I think I keep telling you guys that I've got some top fives. I uh, have been asked to come up with a list of my favorite favorites and I feel like I'm not qualified yet. I feel like I haven't played with all the ones that I have. All I can tell you is I love, I love the way my makeup looks right now. Drying down that setting spray. Uh, do you guys want to know what else is on my face? I guess I can tell you because I've got it right here. So I started with a little bit of the Laura Mercier primer. This is the Pure Canvas Primer. I like it a lot. I also use a little bit of the Becca. This is the, it's like an under eye brightener. What does it say? Yeah, under eye brightener. Uh, I did use the e.l.f. This is the Putty Eye Primer. I used this on all three looks today. I used a little bit of the e.l.f. Poreless um, Putty Primer. I love that. That my foundation today, not really even foundation, but I use some of the, this is, you know, I'm kind of digging those, the, and I got another one here, like the e.l.f. This is the foundation serum. I think there's another new one that L'Oreal came out with. I might try to do a compare and contrast. This is one of the first ones I got. It's an Ulta Beauty, it's just their store brand, Youthful Glow Foundation Serum Drops. Sometimes when I feel like my face is actually not too horrible, discolored, I'll use a little bit of this and then just spot conceal. It's super lightweight. Here's the thing with this. If you don't shake the holy bejesus out of it, it gets oily. So you've got to shake it really good. The dropper is useless. Don't worry about the dropper. Just smear it on your face like a spatula and then go on it, go over it with a blending brush or whatever else. I did use some of the age rewind because it's conveniently located. It's just right here. I want to put a little of this iconic London. Give me a little bit of get my glow on. Why not? I love my eyeshadow so much. I feel like I just kind of want to go all in. I'm all glowy and stuff. I like this look. I don't know when I got so like excited about green eyeshadow, but I'm just loving it these days. I did use the new Wayne Goss lip liner. This is the berry one. I also used the Milk Makeup Astro Glow Oil Lip and Cheek, but I used this on my lips today, followed by a little bit more of the Wayne Goss Lip Gloss. Iconic London Eliminator. I did use the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. This is in black. I used that for all three looks today. I did use a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. This is in number two medium as sort of a setting powder. I don't normally set my face just because I've got dry skin anyway, but everything else was looking so loomy and actually feeling okay that I went ahead and did it. And then I used a little bit of the Too Faced. This is the Chocolate Gold Soleil Bronzer. I did a little tiny bit of this. And then for blush, I actually dipped into this Morphe palette. This is the 8C. And I used a little bit of this originally to kind of contour, and then I used this shade as, as a blush. And that's all I have on my face today, followed by a little bit of the ColourPop um, Hyaluronic Acid Pretty Fresh Setting Spray, because, you know, I'm a creature of habit, and that's what's located right here. What do you guys think of this? I really like it. I thought the colors blended beautifully. I am so happy with this palette. I want to keep going, but I've got other things to do. So I'm going to cut this off 
and play my intro and wish you guys a fantastic day because I hope you guys are all doing really well. You guys, I'm not sponsored. I'm not endorsed. I get nothing in PR. I pay, pay for everything with my own money. I'm a small, itty bitty, tiny micro YouTuber. So you're not even seeing this with any kind of commercials, commercial free viewing. If you are interested in content from a lady of a certain age who may be just like you with a crazy life and you just want to look the best you can with what you got, please give me a subscribe, give me a like if you're feeling generous, ring the bell to get notified. I tend to upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern time, and I'd love to, for, to see you around. You guys, leave me a comment down below. That's how I know that I've got your attention and how I know that I've reached you in some way. What do you like about my content? What do you want to see different? Do you like the Profusion brand? I gotta tell you, this is a sleeper. One of my, one of my top, like, budget friendly brands. I'm super impressed with the quality, the blendability, the shade ranges. I love them. I have no, no area for improvement on perfusion so far. I haven't met a palette I didn't like from them yet. If that tells you anything. Okay, you guys, I'm going to get out of here. Follow me over on Instagram if you want, uh, Shelly Tsunami. Feel free to DM me over there if you're shy about leaving a comment here, but I look forward to hearing from you. And until my next video, bye for now.